Hi there. So today I'm going to show you how to install the prop adapter kit for Mud Skipper Twister. Uh, I'm going to put some comments and experiences at the end of this video. Uh, for now, I'm just going to say that I highly recommend this kit for anybody with a twister. Uh, also, another side note: if you notice in the background, I don't have an engine. It doesn't matter if the engine's installed or not. I'm just doing some work on mine right now. Uh, However, if you have a cavitation plate, you're going to want to take that off just to be able to access all this stuff. So we'll go over what the kit comes with. Uh, this is for a 5 to 7 horsepower kit. So you're going to get three props, uh, six and a quarter, six and a half inch, and a seven inch. Uh, the adapter, which is going to have the set screw in it, the machine keyway with the key. Uh, it moves around in there, just make sure it doesn't fall out and you lose it. Uh, but it's machined pretty tight, it doesn't fall out too easily. And then the nut to hold the new props on. Uh, it'll also come with some instructions, which can be a little confusing if you're not too familiar with this. So I'm hoping this video will help anybody who gets this kit. Uh, we'll move on to the tools that you need. The tools that I use at least. Uh, I use a 14 inch pipe wrench, a 12 inch crescent wrench, some people may need two, but I've always gotten away with just using one. A 19 millimeter, either socket or wrench, that's going to be used for that nut to tighten the new props on. Some vice grips, a 4 millimeter Allen key, some thread tape, and some paper towels. So I'll get you set up on the tripod and start working on this. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do this all in one take. So you're going to start with the 4mm Allen key. You're going to find the set screw on the factory prop and take that out. So the set screw on the adapter is going to use the same Allen key, but it has a different thread pitch. So the set screws themselves are not going to be interchangeable. So we're going to set this off to the side. Next you're going to take your crescent wrench. You're going to slide it onto the hub. Uh, the ones that I use, you can't slide it all the way on. I don't know if you can see here. If you slide it farther, see how it goes off to the side? It wants to grab onto the jam nut as well. So you're going to have to slide it in as far as you can without hitting the jam nut. And then this is reverse threaded. So to loosen it, you're going to have to go clockwise. It shouldn't be too hard. There you go. So now that'll come off. And if you still have the motor on, the prop will probably just stay still up until the hub comes off and then the drive shaft will disengage from the engine. So once this is opened up, you want to grab some paper towels and wipe up some of that grease just to keep it a little cleaner. You'll see this is the end of the cable shaft that is used to drive the propeller. So that's about as much as you need to expose. You're going to come in with your vice grips and then uh, you're going to have to clamp down really tight on this. Uh, what I found works best is to put the vice grips on, close them, tighten it up, and then open them up, grab the end, and tighten it another two full rotations. So one, two, and at least for the vice grips I use. That works well. So slide it up as far as you can to the hub, clamp it down, then you use, uh, the first time I ever did this I just put a block of wood on here so it wouldn't cut into my hand and I was able to push down and loosen the, the prop up, but a better way I found Twist it all the way so that the vice grips will hit that little skeg. Then come in with your pipe wrench uh, and wedge it. So you're going to come in the angle of the prop, 
and then rotate it around, make sure it's open up enough. Uh, you're not trying to clamp down on the prop, you're just trying to get some leverage on it. So I grab onto that blade and then kind of balance everything. And that should give you enough grip to pop it loose. And this is just threaded on. So you can pull that all the way off. Then the new adapter, you're going to loosen the set screw. I actually like to take it all the way out. Thread it on here. Flip this so that the vice grips are on the other side. And then you'll have to jiggle this little shaft to get it back up there. And then tighten this up as much as you can, hand tight. And then I forgot to grab my thread locker, but you want to put some blue Loctite on this screw and put it down in there. So I'm going to pause it and find my uh, thread locker. Okay, so once you're here, you can put some Loctite on your set screw. I like using the gel stuff, it's a little easier to work with. And because of the rotation of the engine, this set screw doesn't actually hold the prop or the prop adapter on. It simply keeps it from over tightening actually. Uh, the engine would have to spin backwards in order for the adapter to come loose and for you to lose your prop or the whole thing. I'm going to wipe this up. And then it's just reverse order from here. So you take your vice grips off. And then here is where you want to clean up these threads and put some thread tape on it. Uh, you want to go in the direction that it tightens. So because this one is reverse threaded, you're going to go counterclockwise to tighten it. So you're going to start and wrap it around counterclockwise. And this will just keep it from leaking any unnecessary grease into the water. So about two, maybe three wraps should be good. And then pull it off. Press it down. You might have some come up on the inside. You can Clean that off. But if you wrapped it the other way, when you went to go tighten the adapter on, it would just bunch up and pull all that off. So we're going to bring this back in counterclockwise to tighten it on. Press wrench back. Let me zoom out a little. It doesn't have to be super tight, just good enough to hold it on there. And that's it, it's on. So now we're going to open this up. Pick uh, whatever prop you want to put on first. Let's see, what is this? Six and a quarter. Go with the big side first, line up that keyway. If this is, can you see that in there? Yeah, so if the keyway is sticking out a little, you can pull it out, press it all the way up. And then when you put the prop on, it should be fully covered. And you put the nut on. And it's a nylon lock nut. So you don't have to put thread locker on it. And we'll just tighten that down with the wrench.
And there you have it. Prop adapter on and a much better prop, especially for this application. I'll go over those comments uh, in a second. So another little piece I want to go over, just so you kind of have a better understanding of what's going on inside of here. You have two bearings, uh, like this, that sit down in there. And then this is your grease seal. Uh, it's an interesting seal. It's got like a ceramic plastic on one side, rubber on the other, and a spring in the middle. And so when it's pressed up against this bearing, this plastic piece is actually pressing up against this inner race. So no matter how much pressure you put on them, there's not going to be any kind of grinding in there. Uh, so this will be stationary with the drive shaft and the prop. So as the prop spins, the seal will spin. Uh, let's see if you can see inside of here though. What's important is when it compresses, it's hard to see. You can kind of see when that spring compresses, it pushes the rubber in. So the tighter this is and the more compressed that spring is, that rubber is going to squeeze down on the clamp or clamp down on the shaft and that's what's going to keep all the grease in and not let it spill out. So the reason that's kind of important is the first prop I did I was afraid of putting it on too tight and wearing out the bushings in there until I got it apart and I've seen how this thing actually works so you want this on there tight in order to compress that spring and to squeeze that bushing onto the drive shaft uh, otherwise It'll leak grease and you can see I still have some left over on my boat from when I was warming up the motor. So make sure you do get this on uh, pretty tight. So another thing I wanted to point out, if you've seen any of my other videos you'd see that I already threaded some of these props and uh, drilled out, put a set screw in. This was before this adapter was available. Uh, I was already running the two blade props and it's a huge performance difference uh, on this engine over here the modified Predator 212 I was able to get uh, 23 miles per hour on a 1436 John boat and then I recently picked up a 7 horsepower Duramax that I'm gonna leave that one bone stock so hopefully in the spring when things thaw out I'll be able to get some good videos of the performance of these different props with a factory engine, uh, what you would expect from a stock Predator 212 or the Mud Skipper engine that they offer. And then I'm going to do some other videos with the modified one just to see the different speeds that I can get from this thing. But I highly recommend for any kit to run the two blade props. Uh, they're very cheap so you can go through and actually select different sizes to see what matches your boat best. Uh, you can also swap them out pretty easily with this adapter. I forgot to buy the puller, so I'm going to get the prop puller too so I can swap them out on the water. Uh, but you can run a bigger prop if you have less weight and you want to go higher speeds, but if you're carrying more weight you can swap in a smaller prop and have a little more torque pushing power. Uh, so that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave them below. And I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks.